contributed to the, the fact that most of the photos are well, of course, our reporter Murimi Mwangi will continue to give us uh, periodic updates on that particular by-election in uh, Kitui West constituency. Let's now head over to the August House where the National Assembly has vetted the Deputy National Intelligence Service Director Nudin Haj for the position of Director of Public Prosecutions where President Uhuru Kenyatta nominated uh, Nudin Haj and forwarded his name to the National Assembly on March the 13th this year for vetting and approval. Five principals Secretary nominees John Morangi for mining, Alfred Korir Cheruyot for correctional services, Jerome Ocheng for ICT, Hari Kim Tai for livestock, and Susan Koech for East African community will also be vetted by the National Assembly. Let's speak to our reporter, our senior political reporter, Chris Tairu, who now joins us live from Parliament Buildings. Chris, what significantly stood out for you during this particular vetting for the office of the DPP position? Well, a very good afternoon to you, Akisa. And uh, the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee, which is chaired by Baringo North Member of Parliament, William Cheptumo, has just uh, finished uh, vetting the nominee for the position of the Office of the Director of uh, Public Prosecution, Nordin Haji Mohammed. And according to the nominee, who was uh, the vetting took around three hours, uh, he has uh, informed the committee and the country at large that uh, he is ready to bring uh, the necessary reforms that are needed in that office of the director of public prosecutions and his approach uh, is uh, on the three issues uh, first uh, he intends uh, to improve the working uh, uh, the working uh, relationship between uh, the judiciary his office and of course the office of the CID that is uh, of course they work in tandem uh, with the office of the director of public prosecution and he has also uh, promised that uh, if at all he will be uh, approved by this committee and of course by uh, the 12th of Parliament, that is the National Assembly. He will also ensure that the remuneration of the prosecutors is also enhanced. According to him is that uh, most of those prosecutors are really paid low uh, compared to other countries and that is the reason why some of these prosecutors find themselves being easily corrupted and uh, easily manipulated by those who have uh, uh, cases, that is criminal cases or corruption cases facing them and uh, actually since uh, these some of them are, are paid a uh, law uh, they uh, they they find themselves uh, being uh, corrupted and uh, of course these cases and some of these cases uh, end up uh, uh, not uh, seeing the light of day he has he has also uh, confirmed that uh, uh, if approved uh, he will be increasing the number of prosecutors in the country he has indicated that uh, in most of the areas on most of the court uh, jurisdictions uh, we have uh, uh, one prosecutor handling more than 250 uh, cases, uh, which uh, to him uh, is, uh, of course, uh, goes way beyond uh, what is required for one prosecutor to handle at least uh, five cases uh, where he or she can be able uh, to follow uh, to the conclusivity of these uh, cases. And uh, also, uh, the nominee himself, uh, remember that uh, he is the son of uh, the senator for Garissa, uh, that is uh, Yusuf Haji, and he has been asked uh, in regards to his uh, connection between him and the father, and he is assured that the committee and Kenyans in particular that uh, uh, the relationship will not uh, influence uh, what he will be doing when he he's uh, approved uh, for that position and that uh, he has earned that position due to his uh, uh, working experience. I remember that uh, he was a senior director or he's still a senior director in NIS, that is the National Intelligence Service, uh, where he has been serving. Before that, he was uh, serving in, at the AG's office and even before that, he was uh, also serving as a lawyer, a practicing lawyer. And uh, if at all this committee approves uh, his uh, or approves his nomination, then uh, they will be tabling that report before uh, the House. That is probably next week, uh, so that uh, Parliament can debate uh, the recommendations uh, that uh, that committee has agreed. And if there will be no any issues, then uh, that will be the man to watch. Remember that uh, if approved, he will be the second uh, prosecutor under 